It is a movement. I personally invite you to visit shoppurehustle.com. How do you survive? Happy Thursday. Welcome to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. I'm your host, Rick Davis. If you don't follow me on social media, I urge you to do so at Prime Real Estate Rick. Please go to Facebook and Instagram, search for Prime Real Estate Rick, and give me a cool follow. I really would appreciate it. As always, man, it's an honor and a pleasure to sit in here this week with you. I want to introduce my co-host. He is a Texas real estate broker, multi-time author, serial entrepreneur, known everywhere the world over as the Texas real estate king. As always, I want to introduce to our audience, Mr. Larry W. Brooks. What's going on, my dude? Hey, K. Tyler, Ricky. Everything is good, my man. Just uh, enjoying another beautiful day here in H-Time. We, we got that Kelly weather today, nice and cool with the sun. I- hey, man, you know, it's funny because, you know, we had that cool front come in last week. We did. Boys yeah. got a chance to wear a sweater for a couple of days in a row. Yeah, yeah. Now we right back to shorts and t-shirts, so no you can't complain much, man. It seems like it's gonna be a um, really great November so far. Yeah, and we've been avoiding the rain, so you know I, I'm usually a fan of having it come down, but it's been so much of it in the past few months. It was so much of it. I'm okay with with, with us having some good dry days. Now, as always, normally I always ask you about the. Pure hustle apparel that you wear from time to time. You like to debut the new hats, T-shirts, and hoodies on the show. But today I want you to share with the audience what you reference right now as far as your T-shirt game with the White Star title, please. You know, man, shout out to the man Kip Edwards, man. He just started a new title company, and he's doing amazing things over there. So my guy stopped by. I wasn't even in the office, but he dropped off some apparel for me, so I wanted to rep it today. And he also dropped off some for you, so I'll get it over to you as soon as I remember. Oh, man, well, I appreciate (laughs) it. That no doubt, man. And, uh, so shout out, Kilt, man. You're doing big things, man. And, you know, over at Brooks and Davis, we support you. Which we support you, bro. Nah, see, but today's episode, Larry, you might have outdone yourself, man. As far as our guest for this week, you know, especially being a professional real estate yeah. practitioner like we both are, man. No we always it. welcome any opportunity to do our job more efficiently. Yeah. To be able to better serve our clients yeah. and, most importantly, to maximize profits yeah. and revenue. And, and, you know, it's key that you say that because the, the, the guest that we have today has always been a visionary, man. Ever since the day that I met him, even when I, when I, was, in the, when I was in the mortgage game, the first time, the, I think the second time that I, I held my mortgage license anywhere was with Bobby B when he was in that mortgage space as well. So just, uh, oh, I'm giving away too much. But I'm saying <laughs> I'll let you say <laughs> And I'm going to let you do the formal introduction. But Already, you man. know, sometimes when you just know somebody, you done hung out with them, you done celebrated with them, you done did business with them. And that's kind of like, that's kind of how deep we go, man. We go, right. we, we, we could be, we'll be here all day if I went too deep. So I'm just going, that's the surface right there for no, you. No, because um, what's why I'm so impressed yeah. with the guests that we have is because a lot of times, regardless of what area of business you're in, yeah. It's always great to be around those visionaries that don't just see complications and issues and roadblocks, yeah. but figure out ways to work around them or go through them. No so doubt about it. Yeah. for everyone in the real estate community, I think they will find the information that today's guest has to share absolutely invaluable. Mm-hmm. So without any further ado, I want to introduce the founder and CEO of ASDOS and DOS Social Agents, Mr. Bobby Bryan. How you doing? Doing great, man. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me, guys. Now, see, normally, Mr. Bryant, Larry is the king of T-shirts, hat, <laughs> and merch. <laughs> but I got to give props with props to do. Your merch game is oh, fire today, my brother. I tell you, I appreciate it. I, um, I have a good team that take branding seriously. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you know, the colors. I mean, when I tell you, it actually was a science behind it, down to the, the colors, the look, and, and it passing uh, the smell <laughs> test across the board because we, we want to build a brand that's recognizable and, and, and that has a mission and a purpose. And you, and the thing is, it's, uh, I teased you about this a little bit before we went live. But, uh, right, 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 right. You, you know, Bobby B is a deep road tie fan. Yes. So when you get to looking at those auburn yeah. colors, man, it, it, you know it has to be a My deep science behind right it. now. My skin breaking out right now. <laughs> it has to be a deep science behind <laughs> the business logics of it for him to, for him to change that it, color. It, up. And right, and really that's really how is. you know he had to, this had to be a rational, thought-out decision because yes, it if it was an emotional decision, we know what <laughs> colors the right, company would have. Right, right. <laughs> And here's the thing, though. If you think about a lot of corporate companies, yeah. 
they they use blue. No doubt about it. Yeah, it, it's it's a calming color. That's right. Uh, um, we we obviously blue. You didn't want to go back with red, mm-hmm. so we use orange, which is kind of you, you know a, a spin off that red mm-hmm. to where it could pop. Yeah. And obviously white. But when you start thinking of the IBMs, the Walmart, you start thinking yeah. about these companies. The Chase. And, and you start, it's yeah. a science what people don't realize behind the colors that you choose. Mm-hmm. Right. And and the emotion totally that it provokes in the consumer yep. as they see your brand. So it, totally was, it was really calculated. The thing that I think separates you from the pack when it comes from real estate entrepreneurs mm-hmm. is that you don't always find a lot of real estate pros that have a passion to form a technology firm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So could you talk to our audience a little bit about ASDAS and also DAS Social Agents? What were you trying to solve as far as any inequity you might have saw in the market? Mm-hmm. And what is it that you provide as far as services to the public? So great question, good comprehensive one. It, it, it Really the whole idea with DOS is not new for those who know of me, mm-hmm. you know, I founded I buy realty years ago mm-hmm. and, and admittedly. So I, I was way too early in, in that ideology. You was ahead of the game, but I it's was, like that sometimes. I, it yeah. was, I was thinking too early. Uh, um, you know, my ideas, people didn't like the industry didn't like, um, consumers were, were, were kind of like, okay, you, you know, it was a very interesting, um, process, but I learned a lot and, 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 the whole premise as all of this bottlenecked up towards DOS mm-hmm. was really I, when I would visit search engines and, and, and from, from our local association up to, you know, uh, the Zillow, the big elephant in the room, mm-hmm. you, you know, when you think about how limited the information is and the boxes and getting information, yet how many more questions the consumer would have for you mm-hmm. after even looking online. And then fast speed forward, next thing you know, in 2011, yeah, I said 2011, I saw uh, IBM Watson playing against the two winningest players on Jeopardy. A few months later, Apple introduced us to Siri. Uh, and it was when <laughs> I saw deep. that, and I was like, Hold up, am I the only one looking at this? What if I could pull my phone out and ask any question about any property and I can layer infinite amounts of big data and humanize and mobilize information like never before done? That That's where my mind went. Once again, still too early. The technology, Alexa wasn't even born then. Mm-hmm. That's right. you know, Google Assistant wasn't even born then. And, and, and so, but I stuck with the idea and, and next thing you know, it evolved into DOS uh, of creating an intelligent assistant specifically for the real estate industry, that's like having a realtor in your pocket. Right. And, and and so the idea continued to manifest saying, okay, if we could automate the process, if we could, uh, um, you know, reduce friction in the transaction, then why not take it a step further and, and um, pass the savings on to the consumer, mm-hmm. making it, uh, uh, our, our mission statement to develop the best technology to make home ownership in America more affordable. And so that's what DOS is. DOS is a digital uh, uh, real estate marketplace for realtors. And then when you start talking about on the DOS social side, what a lot of people in the industry don't know is, is that there are just as many non realtors that we call real estate agents mm-hmm. is almost equal number. But what's what's the superior alternative? You know, where where are they housing? Where are they at? Mm-hmm. And, and so what? And then not to mention when you think of realtors, Brooks, it's a third of them realtors don't close any transactions all year long. Yeah, thirty two percent of one point four million close a goose egg nothing. Yeah. Another third only close between one and three. So I'm sitting here saying, and then NAR tells us yeah. that that eighty seven percent of all realtors close. I mean, 87 percent will fail in five years. Yeah. I was like, we need to create a solution for that. Yeah. How can we create a license holding company, get rid of all the expenses it costs it comes with being a realtor and let you just become a referral agent? Because for whatever reason, you didn't make it mm-hmm. as a realtor. 